yeah, someone died. So there's this huge emotional scene yeah. where Han calls to his son because he just had a conversation with Leia. Would you stop? Oh, Wrong side. He got hit here anyway. And Han goes, well, what can I do? Luke, Luke tried to reach him and he's a Jedi. And Leia looks at him and he goes, he's your son. So he sees the opportunity and he faces his son um, and Kylo Ren's sister and he goes, Dad, I'm being torn apart. And at this point, I already see it coming. The moment he starts handing the lightsaber to Han, help me, Dad. And he goes, I will do anything to help mm. you. That was it. Mm. I knew it. And this is how I watch mm. this scene. Oh my God. No, 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 no. And there it went, the lightsaber through the chest, through the heart, and then he falls off the walkway into the chasm, just like Luke when he jumped off and fell in Cloud City. And I cried. I cried so hard. It tore me apart. Like I said, I really did try to call into work the next day for a death of a family <laughs> member. Like, I, I, I know I watched the ending of the movie. Yay, we blew up the death planet. Can we call it the death planet? Yeah, why not? No, no. Yep. Did they yeah. did they give it a name? I think it had like an official like. Yeah, I think they said something. I'm yeah. sure that has an official name, but we're calling it the Death Planet. <laughs> <laughs> we went from star to planet, um, but my, I couldn't even drive home. So like, here's everybody else getting out of the theater, and they're like, "Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh!" And I'm still sitting here going, "What? No." <laughs> Tears streaming, and then I get this message, or then I message my friend Christy Blanche, and then she messages me back, and we're both all, we're both sob texting each other. <laughs> <laughs> I this is I, now I know what my father, who's a Trekkie, felt like when he saw Star Trek II: The Wrath for oh, Khan. Yeah. Now I know my father's pain. I I officially became my father's daughter last night. <laughs> I haven't felt lost like that since I was like eight, nine years old when I saw Optimus Prime die in Transformers the movie. I cried when Starscream died. I kind of cheered when Prime died. Oh, Did you? <laughs> See, for me, though, the one thing I would have handled differently had I been Han, and this might have worked out better. This is Maybe it's just because of my school of, uh, of being brought up, but, you know, Han reaches out. He's like, concerned. My dad would have walked up to me and went, what? <laughs> yeah. Get in the Falcon. Get it. But I'm whack. Get, Get in, in the Falcon. Falcon. Get in the Falcon now. I swear to God. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there went. There okay. went. There, there, there wouldn't have been a moment for Kylo Ren to turn it on. Like it would already have been like snatch. Go now. And you're gonna go talk to your mother. <laughs> Wait till your mother hears about I'm telling this. You, no, come on, man. Don't talk. No. Oh man, no. That would have been, hey, you caught the bad guy. No, I caught my son. What? Wait, what? what? Hold on. What happened? And I think that would have been the one time everybody would have been able to understand Chewbacca because he'd have been like, ooh, you in trouble. <laughs> Shut up, Chewie. But, Shut um, up, Uncle Chewie. But, <laughs> but it's still Greek mythology. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was straight out of the old school. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, you saw it coming. I mean... But I will have to hand Disney the, the congratulations. You have the award yeah. on getting everybody switched over into what's going on. Yeah. First you went uncanon, then you're bringing some of the uncanon stuff back into being canon. You go, this guy is going to be your Jedi Knight, and no, Finn is not your Jedi Knight. No. Not by a long shot. No. <laughs> Him battling with that lightsaber was kind of sad looking. <laughs> it <laughs> really was. He handled it as clumsily as any anybody would have. I mean, even in Empire Strikes Back when Han, he was like, all right, I'm going to cut this sucker up. Hold on, what, where's that button? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus, look at this thing. It's just cutting everything. Yeah, but at least Han was like, I'm not using this as a weapon. <laughs> you know, yeah. he, he stuck with his blaster, even though you have to admit, when he, he's shooting his blaster and he gets finally a hold of Chewbacca's bow caster, oh my God. Dude, that was I awesome. Love this thing. <laughs> Bam. Whoa. <laughs> Why haven't I been using this? You know? <laughs> it's like, 
was one. I think he threw that in because that was like always one of the things you heard people be snarky about throughout the years. Was like, really? It's 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 a crossbow that shoots lasers. No, it I mean, is a bowcaster, and if you've been playing Star Wars Battlefront, do that thing. It shoots five different directions when you charge it all the way up. So depending on how much you charge it, it can either shoot at one enemy or up to five. It is a gorgeous weapon. I it is a beast, and I mean, I don't mean no pun intended, but yeah. It was like going from a revolver to a shotgun, you know, in the laser sense. But, but yeah, that was great. That moment when I was like, holy, man, this has been next to me the whole time. I want one of these. And then when he gets to do it again, he's like, hey, let me see that. Yeah. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> it was. It was. It was for me. Again, I'm going to speak for me. It was. It was as perfect as it possibly could be. I would like even movies that I like a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. I can I can find serious flaws with them even if I accept them. This the the Force Awakens gave me everything I wanted since it was first announced and I put the cat or I cast aside the skepticism. For me, Force Awakens gave me everything I wanted. It took something from me. Which I was, I know, sweetie. I know. What's supposed to happen to the same movie? <laughs> but for me, I was fine with that. I was, I was, ha I'm not, I'm sorry, don't hit me. I'm not saying I was happy to see Han die, but I knew Harrison Ford talked about since know. the early days. He, he was mad. He was upset that he wanted that death in, in Return of the Jedi. He wanted it. But couldn't and, he just wait one more movie for me? And you know what? It it wasn't like the grandiose heroic death that a lot of people would have wanted. I liked this better. He was reaching out to his son, and it was that betrayal that just made it even even worse, you know, and it made Kylo Ren that much more of a a d bag, you know. You know what he should have done? He should have shot first. He should. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Halfway up there, he should realize I'm not gonna. Goddamn. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. In another year, when Lucas gets a hold of it and he releases his special edition, what's going to happen is this. It's going to be his arm falls off. Bang! Whoa! Oh, my dodged it. I'm miraculously. Like, whoa! Whoa! That's when they recast. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Come on, I really couldn't. Uh, George, why are you asking me to pose for this mocap suit? <laughs> no reason, Harrison. No reason at all. It's for the video game. But I'm gonna need you, you know, I'm gonna need you to just just pose by this laser. We're gonna take full body scan. It's just for the game. <laughs> just and he's done and Lucas is like, he's going to live forever. <laughs> Him and Jar Jar explore the galaxy as pirates. No. I knew one of the three main had to go. I will uh, yeah. main four. In all honesty, I thought they were gonna do Chewie in this one, so did Han I. in the second one. I really did. I really honestly did think that that's what was going to happen. I knew one of them was going to get it. I just it was the acting in that one scene. Um, I'm not. I'm not saying that the acting was ever bad, but. You oh you oh there was a part if you had if you don't know Star Wars there's a part of you and you don't know movies if you had never seen a movie before there there's a part of you that's going oh he's crying he's really really real about this oh my gosh yay wait a minute I've seen too many movies I know what's gonna happen mm -hmm. you know you knew it but you wanted to believe you really wanted to believe like that would have been my twist like hey here's your twist. <laughs> Another small detail I have to point out that I was completely impressed with was is after J.J. Abrams took over and he paid so many nods and homages to the original trilogy, I like the fact that he continued the Empire's complete lack of safety with no guardrails on any walkways and any platforms throughout the damn movie. They're on a walkway. Four billion feet up in the air. This big. Guardrail? Don't need it. It looks like the table. <laughs> Straight Literally. across it. It's like it as wide as this table. All the way across, about 40 feet long. And God only knows, you can't even see the freaking bottom. And then when they're making their way through the planet and they're dodging and they're hiding from stormtroopers and there's a walkway up here and you see stormtroopers walk, it's this big. No guardrail. Nope. 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 
Because evidently at no point in in Empire history did someone go, hey, shouldn't like, whoa! Again, the person who built that probably built the Death Star, but you're like, ah, it's mostly finished. We're good. All right, what I can do. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do for you, Mr. Emperor, sir. Here's my final estimate right here. This is how much you're gonna be paying. Now, I can use this extra money to cover up the exhaust port, or I can give you guardrails. I want either one of them. I, pfft, no. I'm Just over for... budget. No. <laughs> well, the ones that build it has wings, so they don't need railings. That's true. I don't care. Yes. Thank you for continuing that excellence. That was one. No, I'm being serious. That was like one of those like nice small nods because. Honest to God, a set designer who was building that or drew it out probably just instinctively put him in there and J.J. went, No! <laughs> there are no guardrails on my Star Wars. He looked at him and went, We do not need guardrails. <laughs> need guardrails. <laughs> at least there was only seven lens flares. That's true. He And they, they did fit. They did, you know, yes. from a they realistic did. point of view, you know, it's like, oh, there would be a little lens That's why there. he wanted to do Star Wars. He's like, I can actually do this and not get yelled at. Because <laughs> it would have been really great because we all acknowledge the fact that Chewbacca does not age and he has glorious hair. And I can say that I am jealous as a bald man that his hair... Best hair. Best, best, hair hair. Movie, best hair movie goes to Kylo Ren. Best hair movie goes oh, to Kylo true. Ren. I'm sorry. Yeah. But both of them had those those golden, luxurious, shiny locks, and it would have been so easy <laughs> for like when Kylo takes off that mask for the first time and he does that L'Oreal flip. Oh, God. A little yes. lens flare right off the hair. Yeah. I mean, right off the hair. That, that's how you're going to get the fangirls to go, huh, swoon. Oh, wait, I actually kind of did that. Never mind. <laughs> I don't think... Did he even do lens flare off the Captain uh, Shiny Star Trooper, Storm Trooper? No. Dude, seriously, you have a reflective surface and you chose not to give the lens flare off of that one? It was all sun and um, spaceships. Yeah. The time there was lens I will. Flare. I will grant you that. Yes, JJ, you are safe. We're not gonna. We're not gonna be calling you Jar Jar Abrams in the future. You done. You you did the fan the fan boys proud and. Uh, fan boys. You did the fan, fan people. The fans. People. The Star Wars fanatics. Yes. By the way, why don't we have a name? There's Trekkies and there's Ringers and why don't we have a name? We never need them. We don't need no stupid name. Man. We're Star Wars. We don't need names. <laughs> We yeah, don't need names. Uh, but yeah, this because Star Wars is definitely the reason why no matter where I go, as soon as the door opens, I've done this. I still, full, I still do where that. Every, everybody can see it. Everybody stops and be like, that's all right. Got that door free. Right. I don't care how damn old you are, man. When you get that roll of uh, cardboard tube from like a, uh, a thing of wrapping paper, what's the first thing you do? I can't say anything because I took fluorescent bulbs and did that. That was a mess. <laughs> That's what? It looked like a lightsaber. <laughs> it worked. So, Richard, what what was your final takeaway from uh, the Force Awakens? I think it's a good start. I do too. I, it was the movie I wanted it to be, and it was a great stepping stone for the new. And I love God, man. I love being able to say this: the new Star Wars universe. A new trilogy. At least, at least a trilogy. Well, the three will be a trilogy, but they have standalone movies coming yeah. out too. I think they said from till twenty twenty every six months, every six months. I might have to change my podcast from AGP Amanda Gillen presents to AGP Star Wars only. <laughs> Amanda presents Star Wars, and it's Star Wars and Star Wars and Star Wars because there's it. There it is. It's just there. There's no getting away from it. You can go point. anywhere with it. Bill Murray needs to come out and do uh, a remix of his classic uh, Star Wars uh, song. Well, hey, well, you know, he does say in it, please don't let it end. It didn't. It didn't. They listened to him. Yeah. He must have the force. We, have, we have Bill Murray to thank for all the success that Star <laughs> Wars has seen since that skit back in the 70s. Oh, good. Give, give him an opportunity to go try to get royalties. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the one character that we haven't talked about is Ray. Ray, yes. My favorite. She, yes, was she was absolutely stunning. Um, I love the way how she handled herself. She, she, she's literally all three of your main characters originally combined. Oh, great! Yes, yes. yeah, she really is. She, you know, you see reminiscence of the fact that 
she's the one with the force powers. Mm -hmm. So you see, but she's very strong-willed, very determined like Leia was. Yeah. You see a lot of her being able to do the mechanics and living on a desert planet um, reminds you of Luke and Anakin. Um, the fact that she could fly the Millennium Falcon and the only one I've ever seen jump into that cockpit and fly it as quickly as she did was Leia herself. And f work on it. And work on that it. That was great. That, those were the moments that would have that would have solidified my theory that she might have been Han's daughter was just the fact that when they were talking about the ship that they synced dialogue like oh i changed the compressor coil on a motivate you know it exactly. was just like oh so there's two different theories about ray mm -hmm. one she's luke's daughter hence the fact that the moment she picks up if she is daddy's lightsaber she has the flashbacks she can see the foreshadowing she's getting images of things that's going on mm -hmm. and I'm sorry, I've only seen the movie once, but the cute little orange lady with the really cool goggles. I loved, I did. I, I've seen it My twice, I Yoda. can't remember. I did, I liked her. And I, I thought at first it was just gonna be, oh God, here's here's the, the Yoda stand in. It was just something about her. She Because she's a mixture of Obi-Wan and Yoda together. That's yes. why. She needs her TV series. Yes. Yeah. Netflix. Especially for the fact, especially <laughs> for the fact that the, um, um, oh crap. Help me! Um, you the first remember. order. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it worked! Oh, it worked! <laughs> the first Bow order. for me. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Um, the first order destroyed her statue, so she needs some compensation. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but the way how she talked about, you know, it, it, you know, and she hears it. I have it. My sister has it. My father has it. And talking about the force and all, basically all the preview stuff that we saw, that's all the flashback stuff. Yeah. Um, and the way how, you know, she's the one who brings us back to what we heard from um, Ben originally. It's the force. It binds us. It penetrates us. She's been around us. for a thousand years. Exactly. Yeah. So, so she's seen it all. I mean, yeah. you could have flashback yeah. sequences. Can you imagine, you know, Netflix, you go, oh, we decided to go back to when Yoda was training and stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, you could do anything with her. Let's not go back to when Yoda was training and stuff, because we saw that, and Yoda went from really cool, awesome puppet to CGI crap. Oh, my God. I think you guys are missing a, a, a perfect opportunity here, because she, I mean, she's a thousand some years old, so she's probably done a lot, but let, what we know of her is she, she owns a bar. We're talking Star Wars Cheers. Yeah. Making your way in the galaxy today takes everything you got. Mm. Within 12 mm. parsecs. <laughs> <laughs> 12. <laughs> but, so, there's a lot it's of... It's a unit of distance, not to... Shut up! <laughs> Don't even do that. Um, but, that, all of that, and the way how she quickly learns the Force, you know, because let's face it, Luke's training was rather quick, too, um, makes you think that she may be Luke's daughter. Mm -hmm. But then there's things, like the way how she instantly connected to Leia. Instantly connected yeah. to Leia. And there's that one, there's the one scene when she is flying off after Han's dead in the Millennium Falcon and Leia just has this look. Leia knows who she is. Yeah. I know Leia knows who she is. You know what? I didn't think about that. Aunt, Aunt Leia would recognize her, but it's not her place to tell her Luke is your dad. It's not her place. And they knew where Luke was, so they sent her off with Chewie. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's perfect. Yeah. Luke, you explain it to her. Don't, you know. Yeah. She, like, washes her hand. Go, you know. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, Luke. Uh, Leia said you're my dad. That bitch. Yeah, that don't make sense. <laughs> and then there's the other theory that, um, because a lot of people really want the extended universe no. to be canon, that she, maybe they're not twins. Maybe she's the younger sister of Ren. And again, Leia knows who she is, but, you know, Star Wars has a way of telling the truth when they're ready to tell the truth because everything has to yeah. be by... Say it. No. You have to say it. No. You always say it. No. Say it. I'm not saying it. Say it. I don't know what you're talking about. Say it. Nope. Would you fill in the blanks as he's being a little butthead? What does Obi-Wan say when it talks about the truth? From a... Matter of point of view? Yep. From a certain point of view. Yep. So, from a certain point of view. Yeah. 
Not telling them could be the right way to tell them anything. Yeah. And she was very quickly to get into the Millennium Falcon. She was quickly to drive it like Leia was. She knew the Millennium Falcon instantly, even though she called it garbage. <laughs> hey, how about that ship? No, that's garbage. We're gonna take the nope, we're gonna take the garbage. Um, and the way how her and Han instantly clicked. Yeah. Instantly clicked. I mean he offered her a job. Yeah. You know, how many people would Han offer exactly. a job to? You and, know what? And it might have pointed effect too that maybe Han, after after a minute, you might take him a second, recognized who she was. Now it might not, you know, just because it's not father daughter, doesn't mean there's not a family bond there. But we're on the fact that some people think she could True. be the daughter because I mean, come on, we all have already seen the brother sister. Di at least these, you know, at least those two ain't making out if they are. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. I have this uncontrollable urge to make out with you. Me too. Um, That's your sister. If, if, they, if they do do brother and sister, I don't see them being twins. I see no. them maybe her being the younger sister and went, yeah. oh crap, your brother went to the dark side and we got to get you out of here. That could, you know what, honestly, that could possibly be it. Kylo or, you know, Ben went off to do his yeah. training and then like a couple years later, here comes baby Ray and as a Oh, when you're old enough, we're going to go send you with your Uncle Luke and... What's that, Luke? Oh, he did what? Oh, come on. He Hide the baby. No, no. He Hide didn't, he didn't baby. even call. He went, R2, go. And then R2 went... <laughs> Mistress Leia, R2 says... Oh, great. Well, maybe even Han and Leia don't know. Maybe they think their daughter was killed. And that and, could be that, and too. And Luke hid her. Because Luke is a Jedi. If he's following the true Jedi path... He shouldn't have kids. <laughs> right. If, if Luke's following the true Jedi path, he's going to do what all Jedis do. Oh, we're in trouble. Let's go hide kids on a desert planet. There you <laughs> go. That's what they did. You know? yeah. <laughs> but, so, we I'm do know me. she's either Leia or Luke's. Because she is a Skywalker. Yeah. Regardless. So, we know this. Um, we just don't know which path they're going to take. And I love the fact that they did say awaken because there's more awakenings in there than so much more than you. The Force True. awakens. The Force. It's the not even force, the Force. Not just the Jedi. This, yeah. Not just a Jedi awakens. The Force. You know. There's there's a Sith Lord that's awakened because Kylo Ren's really just coming into his Sith Lord. Mm -hmm. There's a Jedi awakened because here's now Rey learning to be a Jedi. Here's Luke awakening, running, realizing again you cannot run from your past. Here's Leia and Han awakening that they realized they shouldn't have separated and they should have stayed together and done what they could have together. Yeah, that was a tender moment. I, I, that was some of the best moments right there when he was like, I know whenever you look at me, you see our son. And I'm like, in that moment, I'm like, I can, I can understand why he bolted. I really do. I can understand why. I understand, but that still wasn't the right choice. No, it people really don't, wasn't. You know, he's, he's, well, human. We don't, you know. He's bipedal organism. <laughs> but well, we know Jedi don't make the right choice sometimes. Yes, exactly. Which I still say the Jedi are wrong in all of that. The most powerful Jedi in the world, A, will be able to have a relationship, and B, use their emotions, but not let their emotions take full control of them. Yeah. Then we got issues. Because, dude, you know, it's kind of like um, the Red Lantern Corps. Use that. That works yeah. great. Yeah, because I think we've learned throughout even real human history is uh, repressing your emotions not such a wise idea. I'm not saying go full red rage, you know, but you know. <laughs> don't throw, don't throw a hissy fit with a red lightsaber. Don't do that. Yeah. And not one, twice, twice, wasn't it twice? Too full two full on hissy full, fits. Two, a two-year-old toddler whining because it wasn't getting a toy hissy fit. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> you could just hear him go, I want to go to a taxi station and get power converted. <laughs> but I agree. But I think in closing, I think one of the, the great parts about the movie, one of the great aspects of the movie is it it's not awesome. only answered a lot of the questions that we've had, not since the original uh, trilogy, but I mean that we had of this movie since we heard everything, is it leaves so much open. It answered questions, but it also uh, gave us more. It gave us more. It 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 really does entice us and make us look forward to the next. Yeah, the next it's movie. it's not that open ended like nah, I can live without it. It's that we want everything. Give, give, <laughs> yeah. give. 
It was it was the Empire Strikes Back ending as opposed to the uh, uh, a New Hope ending where it was well, like see, a New Hope ends. We're happy. We're good. And we, but the thing with the New Hope was he didn't think he was going to have another movie. True. You know, don't, I mean, yeah. if you give George no, Lucas yeah. a little. But no, 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 no. At least yeah. not. But if, if but you're going to explain I mean, the, the essence of, of this movie, right. if you really want people to be like, you know, if there's for whatever reason there's still a Star Wars fan out there who hasn't gone seen it. What's the matter with you? Um, that's screw work. It's Saturday. Go. Um, <laughs> that's the best way, especially since nine out of ten Star Wars fans, Empire's their favorite. True. It's very Empire Strikes Back. Oh, no New Hope's my favorite. Yeah, it would be. I'm old school. Really. You got that one part right? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm gonna hit hit. Um, but yeah, he, in closing, he's in college right now, so he's in school. <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. Yeah, great hair represent. <laughs> great hair represent. We digress. <laughs> and that's why I dyed my hair. <laughs> but I no. do too. No, I'm sorry. That was. Uh, yeah, um, looks scary. like a Wookiee got stuck Yum. in your chest there. He did. <sighs> Scruffing her further. Anyway. I hug, to, I hug Chewbacca. <laughs> sounds like Velcro. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> but yeah, it, we, it, we digress too much. Yeah, but it, it, it did. It, it left us wanting more. It I was, want that TV series. I want Underworld to come back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where they can just go anywhere on Netflix. I mean, live action. I mean, look what they're doing with Rebels right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, True. Rebels yeah. is tying the good stuff out of the Clone Wars. You know what I'm saying? I mean, seriously, is I love Is there really the anything Wars. really actually bad out of the Clone Wars except for the movie that started it? Well, I like that one too. But. Yeah, I, I'm not saying I didn't like it. Yeah. You're talking to somebody who watches the Star Wars Christmas special oh, every yeah. year, you so do? no. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm just saying, I, the Clone Wars was great, you know, because I wanted to see the Clone Wars. I've always wanted to see because I had my own envision what the Clone Wars was all about. And I always read back in the old days of those old, like, star logs and stuff where they talked about the clones. The clones mm -hmm. were like, because they were saying Boba Fett was a clone back in the day. I mean, you had some weak stuff out of Lucas where they were thinking Boba Fett. I mean, basically, yeah. he went with that idea, you mm -hmm. know. He just tweaked it a little different, so it's Lucas's interpretation. Right. But, you know, that's what I always thought, you know. But the movie is phenomenal. It and was. And if you haven't seen it, I yes. highly recommend you go see it. And then go see it again. When are we going to go see it again? What time's the next when are we, when, Yeah, when, when are we done here? No. <laughs> I've gotten a chance to... Uh, we're shooting this on a Saturday. Richard and I got a chance to see it Thursday. Uh, the sneak preview opening night. Uh, I also got a chance to last night, which would have been a Friday. You need um, to take us. That's rude. I don't know. I know. I have family stuff. But I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give it another day. I'm gonna give it a little time to let everything. I don't want to overdo it. I I want to be able to watch this movie and and enjoy it and not nitpick it. And I want to see it on real film, seventy millimeter oh, film. I cool. mean. That's I'm going to India. I have to see it because I saw yeah. the second one on Truth. Have you ever seen the, the IMAX cut of the second one? Mm -hmm. It's so much better Ooh. because they actually take out the dumb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, it flows so nice. Because well, it's a only ten minute hours movie. Would. It's a two hour movie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was a dirt. That was a dig. But I'm just saying because they actually released it on film then too, and that was just marvelous. But yeah, I. I'm going to go see it next week, and I'm going up to Muncie, Indiana to watch it again with my friend Christy. And I can't wait. And until then, I just have to keep remembering everything. And for me, I give the movie two BB-8 lightsabers up. I give it two lightsabers up. Celebrate the light. Celebrate I give it two yub-yubs up. Yep, yep. I give it two yub yubs. Stop trying to put Luke's lightsaber over Vader's. We all know Vader's awesomer. But uh, yes, thank you. I know this one uh, ran a little bit longer than normal. Not only because we were talking about Star Wars, but, but we, because Mike won't shut up. I know. I <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, as always, we would love to hear your thoughts and comments, especially on something like this. We would like to know what you thought about the movie. <laughs> Uh, Richard, where's uh, where's our site located at where they could probably view in this, but they can comment at? We're at undergroundvideonetwork.com or mm -hmm. behindthecounter.net. Mm -hmm. 
and Amanda, where can uh, the fans who uh, are lucky enough to see if you've uh, listened to the podcast before, you get to put the face with it now. Uh, Amanda, where can I find you at? So you can find Amanda Gillen Presents, also known as AGP, over at AmandaGillenPresents.com. You can follow us every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time under Amanda Gillen Presents on TalkShoot.com. And please go like us on our Facebook page, again, which is Amanda Gillen Presents. And make sure that you tune in next week as Mike is going to actually join me at the live um, show on Tuesday where we're going to talk a little bit more about Star Wars, but we're also going to take our focus and go straight into Christmas. It's got to be the I I'm already doing my homework going through my favorite Christmas movies and Gremlins, Gremlins, The Ref, Die Hard, Die Hard, Nakatomi Tower, Never Forget. <laughs> so yes, thank you. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the movie as much as we did. We'd love to hear from you about what you liked, and I'm sure there's there's some things out there you didn't like, and we'd like to hear your point of view. So please check us out. And until then, man, you want to go ahead and say it. May the force be with you. Always. Always.